could steal hundreds of books out of a donation box. Well, we learned about it in an email sent us through Report It. When KXAN's Erin Cargyle showed up, she learned just how important the literature is to thousands of people who have a lot of time on their hands. On East 12th sits an old club turned into a gathering spot for neighbors and nonprofits. Next to the front door, you can donate books. They broke in right there. This normally comes up when you unlock that. Monday morning, someone nearly emptied the box before Dan Murphy could get to it. Four to 500 titles gone. It is an extremely big, a big hit. That's a, about a week's worth of donations for us. Pieces of literature in high demand. We get about 100 uh, letters a day on average. This one comes from Tennessee Colony, Texas. Uh, this one comes from Love Lady, Texas. Beaumont, Texas. Uh, Humble, Texas, Huntsville. They average 15,000 handwritten letters a year from Texas prisoners requesting something to read behind bars. Biographies, comic books are super popular. We do have a Spanish language section. There's almost no Spanish reading material in prison at all. So what is the most popular request? A dictionary. And when you're reading your other books, if you come across a word you don't know, you look it up. These are envelopes ready to go out. Volunteers scan the shelves to decide what to send and include a handwritten response of encouragement. A lot of times you'll come across a letter that says something like, the letter that you sent me was more important even than the books, and I really enjoyed the books as well. Words that can mean so much. In East Austin, Erin Cargyle, KXAN News. This organization is called the Inside Books Project. They're not interested in tracking down the person who stole the books. They just hope more people donate to replace them. For a list of drop-off sites and details on volunteering, go to KXAN.com. You might be surprised to learn it's illegal for friends and family to send books to prisoners in Texas. They have to come from an actual bookstore, but a lot of inmates don't have the money to buy them. Studies show improving literacy reduces the chances of someone going back to prison.